Hey, Dr. Bruns here today to talk about mechanical jaw pain, or the TMJ joint, also known as the temporomandibular joint. So what I'm talking about here is your jaw. The most common symptoms for people when they have pain is that they have clenching, um, they might have you know, had a procedure done where their mouth was open for a long period of time, uh, but typically I see it, you know, people that are stressed out, uh, sleeping awkwardly maybe on your jaw, uh, just bad habits in general. But ways to rectify that would be to loosen up the tension in the muscles around the jaw, get the jaw moving symmetrically again, and the ways you can do that are as follows. So first, you know, assess yourself looking in the mirror, watch your mouth open and close. You may find that it goes to one side or the other as you open it. Just go ahead and try to get that symmetrical. So watch yourself, see if you can go from that an even pattern to a more symmetrical pattern. So watch yourself. It's gonna look real silly, so don't do it in a public bathroom, but do it at home in your own privacy. Um, after you establish that, and you see the tension pulling one way or the other, use your fingertips to massage around the muscles of the jaw up towards the ear, and see if you find any particularly tender spots or tight spots or any nodules that you could massage. You wanna traction your fingers up as, again, you slowly open and close your mouth. You can do little circles as well, massaging up towards the temples and even up to the top of the head because all these muscles will attach in the neck, head, kind of all around the jaw. So make sure you're, you're thorough as you look around there. Uh, another way is to kind of open your mouth halfway. Take your fingers and push up and back. You'll feel a soft spot back there. That's the muscles again. A little deeper into the musculature now. Massaging that, feeling for asymmetries, any trigger points, trying to get that even again. You can retest afterwards by watching yourself again in the mirror, opening and closing slowly. As you're getting your jaw, you know, back on track, literally, uh, make sure you're not doing things that are gonna cause it to flare up, like clenching or sleeping awkwardly, resting your hand on one part of your jaw, big bites of food, snapping foods like carrots, uh, you know, certainly no jawbreakers, stuff like that. Uh, that should help to restore that movement pretty well. I'm also gonna introduce, because these are becoming a lot more popular and common, uh, my massage guns. People are asking, how do I use this for certain conditions that I have? Also works great on the jaw. It's a percussive gun, so almost like a power tool, it will kind of move and oscillate. You don't want to come in at a right angle because that'll be too much force. So if you're using this on the jaw, come in at a slight angle. Same kind of premise. Move as you use it. We'll gently massage along the jaw, up towards the temple. And don't forget when you're working on the jaw, it's important to also work on the neck because they go kind of back and forth with one another. So make sure you're using it, moving as you use it, neck, shoulders, all those other associated joints. So that's a quick rundown of how you do your own self-care for jaw pain. Of course, you wanna make sure there's no infection or anything else more serious going on. So talk with your dentist, especially if it persists. Really the best thing is gonna to be to get in with the doc. So I'd recommend, of course, seeing a chiropractor like myself, make sure you're getting the right care for the right problem. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in.